I was impressed because they're really difficult to get to have any conversation when it comes to that, especially no. on camera. So it's like, that was great. <laughs> yeah, I think it was because of my Washington Post credential, but also that I'm a scientist and I just approached it that way. And I love that. And, and I, I was just going to ask you, um, uh, it kind of leads me to my next thought process. You you came to this, you know, Lourdes and I were were artists before Lourdes got sick. And so so we kind of came into it with that. But you came into this with biology experience and like you said, DNA manipulation, which is um, wow. You know, so. So has your has your overall perspective of that changed? Have and and have you learned different things that maybe you didn't know before, or or was this pretty much like what you expected coming into this? No, this is all everything you that's in my film. I learned I, I learned just like you guys are learning when you watch it. Um, breast cancer screening. I had no idea there was so much radiation in those things. Mm -hmm. Um, I, everything I, this was all new information for me, you know, with the exception of the Rife machine, that's all I knew until I started to watch Ty's films. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I knew about met metabolic pathways, um, you know, and cancer, which is so important, but otherwise, no, I was, uh, I was, I was a clean slate going into this, <laughs> you know, they basically national cancer Institute. I went to talk to them and they basically, in so many words, they basically, you know, buried it because it uses less can uh, chemotherapy. It's like five to 40% of what it, you normally would have to use because it targets the cancer cell using insulin. And um, when I said, well, where did it go? He said, yeah, it worked. We have, we showed safety and efficacy. It was working and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, where did it go? And he goes, well, just kind of, you know, I don't think I want to talk about this anymore.